Western Kenya records some of the highest rates of poverty and malnutrition, despite being one of the areas with the highest farmed fish potential in Kenya. There is increasing demand for fish products related to the rising global population and the growing preference for fresh foods for human consumption. Farmed fish in Kenya provides important livelihood opportunities for the rural poor by improving the local economy as well as supplementing protein sources. Kidogo ambacho napata hapa na na university kwa chama ndiye nipate kujisaidia ama kulipia watoto school fees. Naweza pata 100 kwa siku. Inafaa ni kula 50, 50 nitupe kwa chama ndiye nipate kujua maisha yangu ya mbele na watoto. Worldwide fish products support the livelihoods of more than 530 million people. The current human consumption of farmed fish has overtaken that provided from the capture fishery, which has reached its limits. The global demand for fish is becoming bigger and bigger because currently almost uh, 0 0.5 billion human beings are depending on fish for their livelihood, both for income and even for food. And so when it comes to Busia County, we have got about uh, 3,000 farmers who are along the, the lake and uh, people who are also living around Lake Victoria. Some of them are, are BMUs and some of them are basically uh, capture fish farmers depending on Lake Victoria. And so as a, as a county, you have seen it really wise to ensure that we work together with the community in Lake Victoria. First of all, to ensure that there is income, this livelihood, and above all also, we safeguard our lake. Therefore, the future of global fish supply lies in farmed fish that currently accounts for almost half of the wild fish production and is projected to contribute to more than 60% of fish for human consumption by 2030. Tumekua affected upande wa wa kilimo na kama kilimo kia samaki kineza inuliwa in the Busia County, to Nessa Sikia Vizuri. Napia in fish cages in Lake Victoria. Kama Kunessa Kuana is cages in Yingi, Kwa Wingi, Ambazo Nessa Ifadi Samaki Kwa Wingi, to Napa and Aoko to Napata Samaki Kwa Wingi, Natuna Nua, at this Altra Kuana Shida Vibandazet in Guinea Zimelala, to the Kodoma and Kwa Sababu Yahaba or Samaki. Lake Victoria Fisheries lands an average of 5,000 metric tons of fish annually with an X vessel or beach value of over 700 million shillings. This is again retailed in the 21 Busia County fish retail markets and some exported to other counties, generating a further turnover of 1.3 billion shillings in the county economy. Over 3,000 fishermen depend directly on the lake, while close to 50% of the communities and businesses in Bunyala and Samia sub-counties indirectly depend on the fish trade. The lake has challenges of illegal gears, the rampant seines, undersized gillnets and monofilament nets. These threaten the very existence of the fishery. The lake is managed by the Directorate of Fisheries with the support of 21 beach management units or BMUs under a co-management arrangement. Past inventions through the national and European Union funded programs have funded enforcement activities up to the year 2013 where illegal gears valued in hundreds of millions of shillings were routinely confiscated and destroyed by banning on court orders and a number of fishermen arrested and sentenced to jail terms, further aggravating poverty issues around the lake.
The fishers and riparian communities have also shown resilience in replacing the destroyed gears, either through the sale of land or properties like livestock. The net effect is that these communities have over the years become desperate and poorer. The Busia County Fisheries Directorate has developed a Fisheries Bill 2016 that has been published awaiting funds for public participation. The bill, among other measures, proposes the establishment of a Fisheries Development Trust Fund aimed at rolling out programs for restoring the lake and fish farming in the county. Fisheries in Busia is in two categories. We have a fish farming, which is the land-based aquaculture, and we have a capture fisheries, the one that happens in Lake Victoria, where we catch fish in its natural habitat. Fish in the natural habitat of Lake Victoria has continued to decline because of several factors. There are a number of graduating uh, youth that go to the fishing. There are retirees that go into fishing. And those that lose their employment elsewhere go into fishing. So this has resulted in a very high fishing pressure in the lake and uh, has necessitated us to look for ways of enhancing production in the county so that uh, the demand for fish can be met. The Fisheries Directorate has piloted the establishment of 80 tilapia cages as a viable alternative source of fish. The Directorate is also collaborating with beach management units in implementing a two-day-per-week self-compliance total ban of fishing to help ease fishing pressure on the lake. The pilot cages have done very well, while the two-day self-compliance ban on fishing is helping ease fishing pressure on the lake and has proved to be very popular with the fishing communities. kama wanaweza pewa vifaa kando na hivi zenye wanatumia kwa sasa ili waimarishe hali yao ya uvuvi kwa sasa tuko na methods kama hizi za fish cages ambazo ndo sasa tunaona ni kama zinaweza saidia wavuvi kama serikali inaweza saidia wavuvi at least hata kama inaweza group watu watano inawapea keji moja wakifanya hivyo keji moja moja ka kikundi cha watu watano baada ya mwaka watakuwa wamejimudu kupata keji jingine wanafanya hivyo hivyo kila mwaka mpaka wafikishe hao watu watano wahikishe kila mtu amepata keji yake The threat to the lake is real the current fishing methods and pressure is unsustainable and the solution is not simply enforcement but a complex mix of enforcement with provision of viable alternative livelihood options. The county government of Busia has put in place a, a strategic plan that is aimed to address these challenges. In our plan as a, as a county, we realize that uh, the first thing that we need to do to make fish available to every resident of Busia is to improve, improve the market chain, the market infrastructure. Towards this end, uh, the county government has heavily invested in uh, the distribution network for fish within the county. The main distribution point for fish in the county is at the border point. The border point handles fish from very many sources. That includes uh, Lake Trucana in, 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 in Trucana County, uh, Lake Yoga in Uganda, fish from Lake Victoria, Kenya, fish from Lake Victoria, Uganda, and fish and farmed fish. So we've put there in a management infrastructure that would manage that fish. So the next challenge would be to have this fish deep in the rural areas where it is needed to elevate the malnutrition status. Uh, as we know, uh, Busia, based on the last Kenya National Bureau of Statistics survey, where we were reporting about 26% of children under five years having malnutrition or stunted problems. The Directorate therefore makes the following policy recommendations for consideration and approval to facilitate the elaboration and rolling out of a comprehensive open waters fish production and economic empowerment program. One, that cage farming in Lake Victoria is earmarked as one of the economic empowerment flagship projects of the county. And two, that the directorate is authorized to establish legal and administrative framework 
for private sector-led tilapia and Nile patch cage farming enterprises to increase the farmed fish production. Currently, I've got some two fish feed plants which are being underutilized. We also have an obligation to support these two particular investors. And one is that uh, we are going to give them what you call pelletizers, so that they can be able to make pellets ready for fish consumption. And then also we shall be able to provide some seed capital for the two investors to go and get some raw materials from the farmers around. The financial institution, uh, we are in partnership with the Kenya Commercial Bank, where they've developed a financial product in form of a, a loan that is flexible and in line with the, the cage investment, where a private investor can get that facility on the arrangement that uh, his investment will be managed on his or her behalf by the management service provider. To mitigate risks, uh, the county government has negotiated with a, a number of insurance companies to this extent, we are discussing a memorandum of understanding with the Kenya Orient Insurance Company to cover for the risks that go with investment in the lake. So in, in this model, we have redefined who an investor is. We are targeting uh, both the poor, the middle class, the upper middle, as our primary target of uh, investors whom we believe this model that we have created can able to help them. So with this, I would wish to call upon all the residents of Busia who are interested in having an investment while the opportunity is still available to call on our office so that uh, we can have a partnership where it's a win-win. We are thrilled about this investment in cage because it's giving us an alternative source of fish and also where the cages are is turning out to be a breeding area and the fish in the natural stocks, we've seen a significant improvement on the stock status of the lake that had otherwise been dwindling. So in this investment model, the lake wins because it gets a chance to restock itself. The community wins because they have their cages there. When they invest, they get uh, fish. And uh, the general population wins because uh, there are employment opportunities and numerous uh, uh, businesses that come as a result of the trade that is generated from the cage farming. This will reduce fishing pressure and illegalities on Busia waters of Lake Victoria, while at the same time safeguarding the livelihoods, employment and social protection of those that are dependent on the fish resource. So, Na resosi yenyu ni olek. Hakuna mahali ingine utapeleka nyinyi. Lazima nusukume nyinyi kwa lek. Samaki tumeanza leo ni kidogo ni 350 grams. Taka mkuze iwe kubwa kabisa. Ile mkitoa huko inatoshana na tana mbuzi ya mamomu. So that we can feed our other people outside. Kwa hivyo nitakuwa na nyinyi pamoja. World Bank mekua ni kitoka huko kusia. I think we have done enough planning. Sisi kama Busia County ni wakati ya implementation. Planning night, my Marisa, to us, Dara, and Yia, to all the Rudy to Kayeta, Pan. Miran Z, Zico, for CIDP. Pesa, in answer of Puja, Missouri. To the Tabela, Nini, to Gimazia, is Miradi, about MCS, or Paso Alianza, not once again, MPA.